Okay, there are many articles that go into this, and they talk about how Gmail is bad because the NSA or whatever the fuck can take data from Gmail, and then they'll say shit like the internet is uh, like dangerous and whatnot, and then they will tell you as an alternative to all this, that you should use Proton. Okay, and, and the weirdest part is they do this, they write these kind of articles, and then they write it on a Windows operating system. But they'll say things like, you use Proton, it's based in Switzerland, and, and you have to pay for your services. You pay for your, your, your car, you put fuel in it, so you need to pay for your Gmail as well. They'll say things like this, and then they'll say things like, use a VPN, it, it encrypts your stuff, whoa. And then you get these ignorant motherfuckers saying stupid shit because they refuse to learn anything and pretend to be educated and sound smart. Who oh, use a VPN. It's based in Switzerland. International law. Look, it's a big word. More than three syllables. Ooh, nobody gives a shit. And this leads me into the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by my dick. <laughs> Suck it, VPN companies. And anyone who shills them, fucking disingenuous pieces of shit. Basically, with a VPN company, instead of your ISP being able to see what you're doing, your VPN company can see what you're doing. And yes, VPN companies keep logs, and yes, they hand over logs to the government, no matter where they are based. Onion encryption is completely different. Go learn what the fuck that is if you're interested. Tor browsing. Okay, now let me explain a basic cryptography concept. Encryption keys are made in pairs. One key decrypts what the other key encrypts. So one is called a private key, one is called a public key. Private, you keep it to yourself. Public, you can guess what you do with it. All right. Exchange public keys with someone you want to communicate with. And then when you send a message, encrypt it with your private key so they can decrypt it with your public key and they know it came from you. And then also encrypt it with their public key so only they can, they can decrypt it with their private key. This is how you get a secure channel without anyone being able to read your messages. And yes, you should do this if you are communicating on any channel. Whether it's WhatsApp, WhatsApp says E2E in E2E -E encryption. Complete bullshit. WhatsApp stores its encryption keys on the servers. WhatsApp can read anything you say. Same thing with Telegram, same thing with Snapchat, same thing with whatever the fuck. Okay? And yes, governments can ask companies to hand over messages. Okay? If you're not encrypting your shit manually, you are fucked. You have no privacy whatsoever, okay? And same thing goes with uploading things to the cloud, okay? Google Drive, OneDrive, One Chromosome. If anything is on there, they can see it, okay? Unless it's encrypted, then they can see it, but they won't understand it. And this is why you should manually encrypt your own shit when you're sending it through the internet. Do not quote unquote pay for any fucking service for privacy. You cannot pay for privacy. The only thing that can give you privacy and human rights is getting rid of your ignorance. How do you encrypt things? Learn to use GTG. It's called GNU Privacy Guard. Search it up. Very fucking simple. You can generate an RSA key in about in under a minute. And you can make public keys and you can send that shit over. Manually encrypt your own thing. That is manually encrypt your own shit. That is the number one thing you can do to maintain your human rights. All right. Thank you for watching and go dab on the VPN cocks.